Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again. Holy hell, 15 streak. Let's randomize. We get the Keeper. Keeper's one of the ones that I feel he could put an end to our streak if I'm not careful. I feel like <clears throat> he's gotten a lot easier with the three coin hearts, obviously, but I still don't really trust myself as him. Especially if there's a sacrifice room involved, then, then I really start to um, not trust myself so much. So let's see if I can kill this guy first. There you go. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But anyways, question of the day, right into it today. I'm just, I don't know, I'm feeling it. I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, ooh, chemical peel. And we get two of them. I don't even know how two chemical peels would stack. Would it stack? <clears throat> I feel like maybe not. It might give plus four damage to the um, to the other eye. Or it might increase the chance I fire from the other eye. I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to guess it just doesn't stack. It seems like, because it's not... A specific like stat gain or anything still it's a great item to get off the bat um especially considering as you can see it like it doesn't pick random shots it pick oh do not eat that guy god damn it considering it doesn't like pick random ones it actually oh god this is a hard room uh it actually just does the second shot all three in the burst are like the extra damage shots which is real real nice <clears throat> i do apologize i'm coughing a lot I just had my lunch, and yeah, question of the day was going to be lunch related. What's um, what's a like a meat or even vegetable if you're vegetarian you've tried that just it's <clears throat> very very strange. Like what what's something that you've tried that like is kind of out there or unique? I've tried ostrich burgers before, which were pretty weird. And one thing I know it's not really weird anymore, but it it was kind of weird when I first um when I first tried it. Hmm. I was going to maybe uh, get those coins, but I'm not really that into that idea. Um, yeah, one thing that um, I I had that I ended up liking a lot more than I thought I would, and something that I didn't even think I'd end up trying, is jackfruit. Jackfruit's become really popular recently. It's meant to be like um, imitation chicken, I believe, for a lot of vegan and vegetarian meals. Um, and it's pretty good. I'm not... Uh, to be honest, I don't eat vegetarian a lot, like, if ever. I pretty much eat meat with every single meal that I eat. Like, even lunch. Um, let's pop that. Uh, like, I, I just had a, a chicken breast and bacon with mushrooms for my lunch just now, which is what got me on the topic. Um, ooh, that was a great dodge. Yeah, um... It's just kind of interesting to see what, what sort of weird stuff. I know different countries have different, like, meats and different um, proteins, different vegetables. So what's some of the weird stuff? Even if it's not that weird, it's just weird to you. What's something that's a little more unique and out there that you've had? I actually recently, uh, for the first time ever, considering I'm 24, I'm, I'm pretty surprised by this. Um, I, for, for the first time, I tried... Wait, where are we going? Mother, okay. I'll try and go mother. I'm not going to guarantee we actually go mother, but I'll try. You bastard. Um, it, I actually tried lobster for the first time. I've been wanting to try lobster for a long time. I'm not a particularly big seafood person. Like, I, I think sh like prawn and shrimps are okay, but they're not, like, I won't go for them every single time. But I'd obviously heard good things about lobster. I hadn't even tried crab or anything like that, so I didn't really have any frame of reference for what it should taste like or how good it is in comparison. But it, it was really nice. Um, one of the great things about where I live currently is uh, there's this app called Deliveroo, which I think a lot of places have now. I don't, I don't know if it's in every country or if it's just a UK thing. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I use Deliveroo and it lets you essentially just order um, takeaway from pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's, it's really good. It's kind of like Uber Eats or Just Eat, things like that. Um, and it is, it's really, really good. And through that, I've been able to try a lot more food that I wouldn't normally try. I was saying, I think, last episode or the episode before about Greek food, that I hadn't really ever had Greek food before. Or at least I'd had it very rarely. Okay, let's just stay calm for a minute. There you go. Uh, or at least I'd had it very rarely. My mum makes a lot of different meals, so I probably had it before when my mum has made it. But other than that, I didn't really, I didn't really have an account of when I'd... Um, when I tried it, so I got to try it, and yeah, there's this place called like Bender Box, which I think is a play on I think it's Bento Box they're normally called, um, which essentially, if you don't know what they are, they're kind of like a meal in a box, like it's it's like every single course of a meal in one box. Ooh, this is kind of an interesting room. Ooh, especially when there's other enemies about. 
Um, yeah, it's like every course of a meal in a single box, which sounds kind of disgusting when you think about like dessert mixing with your main, but it's really not that big of a deal. And you can get like, normally I get like spicy rice, mac and cheese, a few wings, and you get plant uh, deep fried plantain and a waffle with Nutella and strawberries. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I've used that a few times now. Ooh. I need to, do you know what I need to be doing? I need to be using my, um, my active a little more. I'm literally just not using it at all. And I don't, dude, can you just like not be a dick? I don't know why I've not really been using it. Oh, does that even do anything for this guy? I don't know how that works. Uh, yeah. Um, and f the, they had like an offer on that was like, oh, you can get lobster. I think it was like 24 pounds, which honestly is a little expensive for a takeaway. But considering it's essentially a three course meal and there was lobster in it, I'm like, that's actually a really, really good price. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get that. And so I did, and it was, like, the, the, the amount of lobster was pretty small, which I kind of expected considering the price. I thought, I didn't think it'd be, like, a, a whole lobster tail. It was, like, kind of, like, half a lobster tail. Or at least if it was a full one, it was a very small one. Um, and I loved it. It was really, really good. I think it was in, like, butter sauce. And it's like, god damn, why does this have to be so expensive? I want this more. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, I think we're dead. If, um... If Shard of Glass actually takes away our Penny Hearts, we add it. I don't know if it will. I'm honestly not sure. If it doesn't, this is a, a real positive. But I'm having a feeling that it will. Um, unfortunately, we have very little money. So we don't, we don't have any ability to get a Devil Deal. So I'll pick Angel for now. Um, I'm going to go to my shop here and just see if I can bomb for some money. I probably should have bombed my other donation machine um, in, on the last vlog. Thinking about it because I didn't think about... The cost of devil deals. We'll check out our crawl space here. Um, we got ourselves pheromones. Grants you a moderate boost to all your stats until you get hit. That's pretty good. And we also got the bomb beggar card. Spawns a friendly bomb beggar. Okay, from Leshy's belongings. Um, we'll also pop through here real quick. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. Toy plane is real good. So I'm going to try my best. <sighs> Hmm. I'm trying to think. For one, let's pop this. Let's pop our buttons here. I don't know how that's positive in any way, but thanks, game. Uh, that was negative, but didn't actually do anything. Oh, no, it did. It just spawned the enemies at the other side of the map. Hmm. Okay, let me quickly, quickly reallocate myself. Reallocate. Relocate myself um, somewhere else. And I'm just going to see if there's any which way in, in which I can get myself some money. Also... Oh, that is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> I thought it meant a bomb beggar. That's not a bomb beggar. That's a dude that launches giga bombs. I mean, if they can hurt us, that's going to be problematic, I guess. <laughs> hey, fella. How you doing? <laughs> oh, my lord. I'm a little scared. Right. Um, okay, so I think my best, my best course of action here is to blow up the double beggars in here and hope they give me two cent, which I think is reasonably likely. I'll just get Steam Sale and the two cent. Um, so now we can get this. And the question is, do I get restock or... I think I get Tarot Cloth. I think Tarot Cloth's better. Um, the Lovers. What does that even do? I should have probably read it, shouldn't I? Would have been a good idea. Anyways, that's pretty good for us. Um, with our money income. I probably should have bought the candle instead of tarot cloth. Yeah, but if, if you're wondering, by the way, Toy Plane, I know it has a bit of a weird um, weird sprite. Uh, the, the, the sprite artist, the person that made it, has admitted to me they didn't do a great job with it. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a Toy Plane. But doubles all trinket spawns, gulps the current trinket um, after every second floor, which is incredible for us. Just incredible. Um, so we do still have our devil deal, so I probably could have gone in here um, and bought some stuff, but I've entered now. Um, but now that we've got Steam Sale, devil deal is going to be a little more plausible. We just have to kind of look out for money. Remember, we are actually trying to go... Uh, ooh, this is a... Yeah, I don't... I don't really know how I feel about a dude just dropping gigabombs on me all the time. Like, if they hurt me, there's going to be some shenanigans here. I feel like this is not good in any way, shape, or form. I feel like this can only end badly for me. I mean, to be fair, he's gonna be like a stonking, 
stonking good help to us. He's going to be doing a lot, but at the same time, I do feel like it's going to severely also... Did I just take contact damage from him? <laughs> oh, he's such a fucking crazy bastard. Shot speed down. I don't really care about that all too much. Didn't mean to pop that in here, but there you go. I just popped it as soon as I walked in thinking it'd be a combat room. It was not. Do you know what? You'll handle those guys. So I think if it's a big enough room, he's going to be pretty good. But otherwise, he's going to be a little scary. I think cares of rebirth. Yeah. Oh, he died. He died. I think he bombed himself, maybe. I don't know. But he died either way. Someone axed him. Freezer Baby is incredible. That would have also been pretty good, but I think Freezer Baby is better. Uh, there was a Tinted Rock. I would like to go and pop that open, just in case we get Small Rock. Also, we can get ourselves a um, thingy here as well. Oh, really? Just a key. Whatever. Whatever. So yeah, at, th at this point, I don't really care whether we get Angel Deal or Devil Deal. I I'll be kind of fine with either. I probably should go destroying poops and stuff to try and make sure I maximize the amount of money I'm getting per floor. Right, so here's our white fire. I'll kill my boss first. Ow. So it does look as if Shard of Glass will fuck us up. Do you know what? I said I'd do my boss first and then I completely forgot. That's fine. Let's go do our curse room. Okay, so we get double trinket spawns here. Um, I guess we'll take that one. Okay, we are back to reality. Now, let's go fight the actual boss this time before I walk into the fire. Anyways, yeah, what I was saying was like, yeah, I, I tried lobster and I, I ended up really liking it. I, I kind of had this weird thing with, with lobster for a while where I really wanted to try it. But, like, obviously you can't really, or at least you, I don't really want to buy it and cook it myself. I want to go to a restaurant and try it, which, for one, means it's expensive, and if I don't like it, it's a waste of money. But for two, like, it's such a gamble. Like, because I really wanted to try it, but it's also kind of like, well, like, if I go to a restaurant and, like, get it, and it's crap, like, I could have had something so much better. So it's such a gamble side. I kind of always put off trying it, and then eventually I kind of bit the bullet and was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to get it on takeaway. Staple's pretty good here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get it on a takeaway. But I want to try it at a restaurant because I'm sure it'll be better when it's, like, fresh, fresh. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Possibility of secret room being here. It is. Hopefully we get a bomb here. Yes. I do want that. I will say that I'm not going to enter yet, though. Let's go do our uh, mirror dimension stuff first. Okay, so we unfortunately have a pretty horrible room here, especially with Curse of Rebirth going on. I'm going to try and just force them to kill themselves. That's the easiest way. Yeah, we have a reasonably sort of... I won't say a long trip, but a hard trip to get to the, the key room. Um, what was our boss again? Oh, no, it was Min Min. I'm not doing Min Min. Min Min's one of those bosses that I feel like sometimes I'm absolutely fine with and other times absolutely wrecks me. Also, goddamn, I'm really not using my wooden nickel enough. I just remembered to use it again. I've been completely failing with that, so I apologize. I'm sure some of you are uh, extremely frustrated watching me. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother doing Min Min. I just think it's too much of a risk. Yeah. Right, let's go and get the uh, the other syringe here. Just It's going to up our speed, but also it'll be our second syringe of the run. Really? I've got to bomb it again? Why? <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, you can be a bit of an asshole. Freezing you like that was super, super useful, though. Do you know, I, I have to say, I'm a little worried because... Okay, that that was all, that's also a part of my worry. But I'm a little worried because... Um, really? Another failure? I, um, I just had my lunch, as I just said. I had, like, a chicken breast and bacon and stuff, and it was great, and it was cooked thoroughly, but yet my stomach feels a little unsettled, and that, that worries me somewhat. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think I've had that before, and I don't know if it's maybe the combination of that plus 
the energy drink I had earlier today. I don't know. Hmm. I think there's options is good enough. And then we'll bomb you trying to get herself a nickel. Good, good. As long as we have seven cent, I'm going to be happy. Right, let's go. Yeah, my stomach does not feel okay right now. Damn it. We didn't remember the two bombs we need to get in here. That was stupid. It's okay. We've got another floor to get two bombs. I'm hoping we manage it. One second. Right. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Alright, let's actually use that active in every room this time. Because look at that. It's free real estate. Also freezer, baby. Why are you so good? Why are you so very good? What the hell? Yes, please. That's awesome. That was an unexpected uh, find there. I love technology with Keeper. For one, it looks really cool, but also it's just functionally very good. Annoying room is annoying. Get ourselves the stars. Let's just pop the stars because that gives us a choice. And euthanasia is another... Uh, I do think that this is better, but euthanasia gives us spun. I love the way we got a range up there. Oh, this is a particularly bad room for us right now. It's okay, though. We got it. Yeah, we have a good amount of damage now. Spun definitely helped a lot there. And then, yeah, now we just got infinite range and piercing, which is awesome. Right. We've got one bomb so far. Make sure we do not use it. One bomb is not quite enough yet. Oh, euthanasia there. Popping off. Up his health by one. That's amazing. I think that makes us nigh unkillable. Uh, I'm not going to use the temperance card because doesn't that use like... A thousand pills. Yeah. Eat ten random pills. I'm okay, thank you. No thanks. I'm full. But yeah, when I when I like initially went to try lobster, I um I wanted to try it at a place called Prezzo, which is like an Italian restaurant. I I absolutely love Italian food, as most of you will probably already know. Um so yeah, I went there and they did like a crab and lobster ravioli, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds like it could be incredible. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. But then I think it was like the, the first time I saw it, I was a little apprehensive. So I was like, no, I'll just get it next time. And then COVID hit and it shut for literally like a year. Um, and I, I came back after COVID and was like, cool, cool. I'm going to try it. Not on the menu anymore. They don't even do it. I was like, you, why world? How could you? How could you do this to me? But yeah, having four health here is pretty incredible. I'm still a little worried about Shard of Glass, I've got to admit. Oh, euthanasia. I mean, one problem at the minute is we have ridiculously low luck. But if we can get our luck up a little bit, euthanasia is going to be really good. Right. Oh, thank God we have piercing for you. We do have two bombs now as well. Do not use one on this boss. That would be silly. That would be oh so silly. Good, good. Need a bit of a fire rate up. Fire rate leaves a bit to be desired, and there it is. Got our angel deal as well. The halo's also pretty good here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's actually not amazing for uh, Keeper. The best thing we got out of that was really the speed. Good, good. Right, down we go. This should smell our trinket as well. Now, it's worth noting with a toy plane, we don't get increased... Um, oh, damn. We don't get increased drop rates of trinkets. It's just when they do drop, they're doubled. It's not like um, Smelter, where you actually get an... Inc what? Rooms like this. Like, that was a terrible placement. Who put that there? Also, why is the corn poops on this floor? That makes zero sense to me. Good. 
good. Okay, money's that. Yeah, who's who's making all these corn poop rooms? <laughs> these are incorrect for this floor. Hmm, strange. I don't know. It's not a big deal, I suppose. I just I, I like things being on theme, and that doesn't really feel on theme to me. Minor complaints. Minor complaints. But yeah, I do intend to to try lobster at a restaurant at some point. I don't know, like, what I'd get. Like, I've I've heard of I think it's lobster thermidor is like a popular one, which is from what I from from what it looks like. Um, look up speed down. That's good. Um, ooh, against non-boss enemies. That's insane. That's really strong. Yeah, what what what's with all the corn poops? What's going on here? Did someone just go like trigger happy with the corn poops in, an, in like an update? Good. good. I'll take a scratcher just in case. Let's see, there you go. Paid for itself. Oh, do you see that then? I hit a bomb rock. Perfect. Beautiful. What an easy boss fight. Uh, I think Squeezy, even though we don't need the soul hearts, the fire rate is pretty important. We also did get a devil deal. Yeah, we did. Okay. I think Cambion Conception... We could get, if we get a penny, we can get three here. So I'm hoping we get a penny. Oh, there you go. That. And then that. Paralysis. Good, good, good. I wonder if using that card that used all the pill effects would... Um, I wonder if that would... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just realized something. We don't have any pennies for the door. Um, I wonder if that would create a situation where false PhD went, like, absolutely crazy. Okay, so we have some pennies now. Okay, we got a lot more pennies now. Right. Let's leave them there for a sec. Let's go do our knife piece thing. I'm not confident that I won't get hit on this mother chair sequence. I still need to install the mod that just stops me having to do this, because I really just can't be bothered. But I think with four hits available to us, we should be fine. It's just, the only thing I'm worried about is the fact that we start with 0 0.9 speed. So if we get some really awful rooms, I think things could go pretty awry for us here. Uh, so far, I think the rooms look pretty approachable. This one, I remember being particularly hard. Um, this one's always kind of a breeze no matter what. Normally, I don't get hit on this one. Same with this one here. It's those other two big rooms that kind of get me. So we got this. I wish you could take cards in here and just like take a teleport card. I know that's really cheesy, um, but it would be nice. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Luckily with triple shot, if there's any poops we have to destroy, it should be pretty easy going. Oh, you bastard. Do you see what I mean? We've got rev a revive potentially here. It says times one rather than times one question mark now, which I'm a little. I don't really know why. It should, for me, one of the big problems is obviously the lag is insane. I got hit again. I do need to go back and get this real quick. And that, thank you. Okay. That actually, I kind of forgot that the poops could end up dropping coins for us. This is a rather annoying room as well. To be fair, it's just timing, but the timing is a little off for me. There you go. We're good. We're good. That was a little awkward. Also, I didn't rip. Hey, um, excuse me. Where's my extra heart container? Okay, that's a lot of zeros. There you go. For some reason, doing that stole my heart container. I'm not having that. <laughs> 
You cannot treat me this way. Right. So now we need to go over here. And go one. And two. Then we left the two nickels over here. So we'll go over here and go one and two. Gives us a lot of money and also full HP. Okay, I, played the, I think I played this floor reasonably well. But shit like that is why I just love having console enabled. Some people will be like, oh, well, you cheated. That's not what the game intended. But it's also like, well, I don't think the developers intended it for, intended the game to cheat me out of a heart container. <laughs> it probably would have reset when I got to the next floor. But I didn't want to wait to find out when I knew I could fix it easily. Ooh, look at these fellas. Slightly hard room here. I just realized there's a red button here. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool uh, champion boss there. Ah, what the hell? <laughs> I was not expecting this level of, uh, of enemies to spawn out of that guy. Right, let's keep her going. Keep her going? <laughs> you get it? Keep her going? Oh. Gotta love the, the, the absolute puns. You can leave one penny there, just in case. There's an X likes there. I don't think we need that. Just need a tad bit more fire rate, I think. Get up to two fire rate, and I'll be happy. Oh my lord. They're multiplying. Beautiful. Chariot. That room doesn't matter to us. Back we go. I, I still don't feel like I'm that strong. Against normal enemies, I'm pretty strong because I've got that 1.5 times damage multiplier. But against bosses, I feel like we're lacking a little bit. We rolled all pedestals on the floor. Bunch of flies, thank you. Um, yeah, that was pretty terrible by me there, wasn't it? So, this is a pedestal reroll situation for me. In fact, let's go do the boss first, because we might want to reroll the boss item too. And the shop, actually, as well, for that matter. I think humbling bundles, great. And then the, the, I'll, I'll let that to be re-rolled. Re oh, look, it's a champion Hornfell. It's going to be poisoning us. I mean, we're going to be killing him very quickly, so... I don't really mind. Plus one damage up. I think I'm going to, like... Do you know, I'll take the damage up. It's pretty good. Right, let's re-roll the rest. So that should re-roll our item room and hopefully our shop as well, as long as I wasn't reading incorrectly. It just gave us more bombs. We got multi-dimensional baby. I was hoping that would give us um thingy, what's it called? Uh, conjoined, but one of our familiars is actually just a trinket, so. <laughs> and this gave us the compass. Whatever. Art. Don't know what that did. Right, down we go. Feeling good. Feeling good. I think this is a pretty one run. I mean, obviously, we've got the, the significant issue of only being able to hit get hit four times on the mother fight. So I'm hoping we get a card that negates that. So far, the chariot is a good pick, but, like, not really what I want. Not really what I want. What I really, really want. I want a zig a zig ah. I love this room. So well designed. Like, it's an easy room, but it just, it's so satisfying. Right. Let's go for the item room first. Excuse me, sir. Really, you lobbed a host at me? That's just evil. Okay, 
Item room, what do you hold for us? Wow. <laughs> We're wrecking regular rooms. Piercing. How delightful. The D7. God damn it. Yeah, like, why is the blue boils? I, they're just... Some of the some of the enemy placement decisions here are a bit bizarre. I, maybe it's like a bug. Maybe the... Um, Maybe these enemies aren't, these rooms aren't meant to be showing up on this floor, but I don't know, I highly doubt that. It's kind of hard to accidentally do that. It's just a bit of a, it seems like a bit of a weird thing to have some of these enemies spawning on some of these floors. I'm just going to finish this room normally. I'm a bad bitch. Beautiful. Euthanasia is just popping off. I just wish we had higher luck so Euthanasia would pop a little more, because it's so good, but it doesn't pop very often. Right, what we got? Okay, so we do have a reroll machine here. This could be very good for us. Tier detonator I don't think works, and it's an active. We're getting a lot of actives here right now. Another active. Another two actives. If you give me some passives, that'd be funky dory. I mean, this is an act these are both actives again game, but this one is at least useful. Uh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> are you kidding me, game? Just rude. Rude. Right, let's find the secret room. We'll come back for you. Could be here. Not there. Oh. Don't know why I even bothered pressing that, but I just. It looks. It's a button. You gotta press it. Extra keys. Could be here. There it is. Right, let's go and get our gift. Hope we don't get lump of coal or the poop. Which I kind of feel like we will, but lump of coal wouldn't be terrible. It's the poop. Rune bag. Okay. Now I'm a little annoyed that I spent so much money. Um, I didn't think we'd have a reroll machine in here. Right, let's try and garner as much money as we can for the rest of this floor. This shop screwed me so hard. I spent so much money on you. Where did that penny go? Wasn't there... What? Wasn't there a coin? Oh, there he is. Behind the pillar. It's very confused for a second there. A lot more money. Good. Room bag is very good, by the way. But I'm looking for something that's, like, stonking good. I'm looking for something that's a game changer. I, although I, I can't take Arky, though. I do not have time for an Arky run. Gain one heart container for every 25 coins you have. Keep against an additional coin, coin hearts. Gain one heart container. It's pretty good. It doesn't do anything right now, but it's pretty good. I'll take it. With humbling bundle, I reckon we can get there. With humbling bundle, I reckon we can get there. I've never actually had a Greed's Gullet Greed run before. Like, ever. I did try to pop my card there, it just didn't let me. I got a charge there from something, I don't know what, but I'm happy about it. Oh, you're still alive. Hello. Why didn't you die? Take the damage. Okay, this is worth buying. And actually, do you know what? Oh, okay, no, that gave us conjoined anyways. As much as I'm not going to gain the HP now... This is going to up our damage by a whole heck of a lot. Having conjoined is, is decent for room clearing, not so good. Actually, it's probably pretty good for Mother. Mother's a pretty wide gal. Fortunately got hit there. 
little concerned about the fact that we're now bleeding rapidly and I have no pennies to get. But there you go. One memento, part of all. Okay. Right, let's hope we can get some pennies soon so I don't bleed out. There you go. And yeah, I'm hoping I can get up to like at least 25 cent before the boss. Uh, second floor boss at least. So I can get at least one extra heart. I reckon we can do it. Justice. Because, like, we're already on 10 cent from this floor alone. Meh. Don't do that. That's just a dick move. Just a look down. Oh, wait, of course. That gives a damage up, though. Okay, I can, I can handle that. I forgot we had a uh, false PhD. I completely forgot about that. Damn it, was hoping that chest would be full of money. Beautiful, beautiful. Already at 14 cent. Come on, come on, come on. Should have popped my active there, really. Didn't realize it was just going to be one enemy, to be fair. Yeah, these freaks are annoying. Also, you can stop and all. I ought to stop getting hit, really, as well. That'd help, wouldn't it? Really? You put... Ah! Ah! Everything about this is terrible. I'm sorry, Trinket. I don't know what you are, but I can't have you. I actually kind of do want that uh, virus-looking one, though. I'm pretty sure it's good. I'm going to see if I can get it somehow. Okay, I need to do that, but closer to them. No, you bastard. You little... Got it. Tears five by familiars have a chance to poison. Pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Ow. God, stop getting hit. How is this guy not dying? I'm straying the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting hit here. This room's a crock of shit. That's too much poison. Too much poison. Oh, lordy, lordy. Right. We're up to 25. We got a new coin heart. Oh, baby. Mate, why are these things so healthy? Stop being the way that you are. Okay. Good. We have five coin hearts now. I don't know how this guy's going to go. He's dying pretty quick, though, so I'm going to say pretty well. I never really know how to properly dodge this dude. Okay, I'm now bleeding profusely, which is scaring me a little. Um... I think I'm just going to take the HP. I know it's a bit of a dumb move, but it does give us a look up as well. Um, hello. So, I know that we just got a heart container, but I feel like Mum's knife, pretty good. Although the charge time. <gasps> I forgot it worked with tech. Okay, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty awesome. 
I'm sorry, Mora the Void. You're being left behind. We'll see if we can get back up there. I think we can. I think we can make our way back up there. That's awesome. That's so cool. That's going to be doing quite a bit of damage for us, I think. Scratch, give me a lot of money. Yes! Thank you, Scratcher. Up to 25 once again. That is insane, the amount of damage that does. I, I haven't had this tech synergy before. With this many knives out, it's pretty insane. Awesome. I doubt I'll be able to get to 50. I very highly doubt I'll be able to get to 50. Oh, wait. We've got an extra two heart containers now. Did I not notice that it had already given me one? I think that's the case. I think I already had five and I've just gone to six. We have a lot of health. We're a healthy boy. Mate, what the fuck is this room? Holy shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I was just going to say, do not get hit. That has thrown a spanner in the works. Excuse me. Mate, there's some crazy bugs going on. L look at my heart containers. What's just happened? Why am I... Why am I only on four now? Frustrations and anger fill me. Why am I only on four heart containers now? What happened? I might just give myself some money to... Uh, to make it back up to six. Because I should be at six right now. The game showed me I should be at six. And now I'm only at four. Um... I don't even have to spawn any. There you go. Back up to what I should be at. Stupid game cheating me out of things. <laughs> I used a Lust card, which I think gives you three heart containers for the room. And it just removed three heart containers forever. Right, anyways. Let's go do this. Probably, by the way, our damage is insane. As I said, probably shouldn't use that, but actually it kind of worked out. But our damage is ridiculous. <laughs> this is redonkulous. Redonkulous. I would have taken off like a, an entire half of a HP bar every time I hit. Look at that. Oh my lord. Insane. Didn't even need any of the health anyways. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. What a fantastic little run we got here. And I will see you guys in the next one.